is to create an x and a y axis. So below. And that's why I gave you guys that kind of room to do that. OK. So ladies and gentlemen, when graphing, um, when graphing an equation in slope-intercept form, basically the main important thing we want to do is identify the slope and identify the y-intercept. So the slope in this case is 2 thirds. Remember, always write your slope. I want to always write my slope as a fraction. So if you, has, if you have the slope as a whole number, put it over 1. So it represents a ratio. The y-intercept, I want to write it as a coordinate point. And it's always going to be 0, comma the value of b, which in this case is negative 4. Okay, so the y-intercept is b is equal to negative 4, but I like to write the y-intercept as a coordinate point. Because what that reminds me is the y-intercept, that point, I can plot. So here is 0, 0. Here's the x-axis. Here's the y-axis. So if I was going to plot the point 0, negative 4, I'm not going left or right at all, but I'm going to go down 4 units and then make a nice big dot. That's the point 0, comma, negative 4. You don't need to write in what this um, y-intercept is, but I think it's kind of helpful just to remind yourself. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the slope to find another point. We only need two points to graph a line. So remember, the slope represents a ratio, the change in y over the change in x. The change between any two y values is a positive 2, meaning I can go up two units, and then the change in the x value is a positive 3. So I can go over three units to the right. So one, two, three. And that creates my next point. Okay. Also, please remember that negative 2 over negative 3 is the same thing as a positive 2 thirds. So you could go down 2 to the left 3, and that would create a point as well. You can see that they're all on the same line, right? Then all we simply do is either take a ruler or just sketch it the best we can. Go through our two points. You don't need to do the third point like I did. You don't need to go in both directions. You just need to go in one direction. Um, go ahead and connect your points. Make sure you put arrows as they extend indefinitely. And you're done. Anybody have any questions? Does anybody bring bad, back, bad memories? <laughs>